We need to have an intervention. Mario Party Superstars. It is... All right. You know, it's great that we have a Mario Party that functions online and has boards. I like it. But they are deluding us into thinking that this is actually a full-priced Mario Party game. Are you kidding me? This is only so good within the context of... But they want you to forget. Not only were they more plentiful, but they had more content packed into each of them. In fact, I could talk about any of these. <laughs> on the car ride home, my dad's had to stop wasting money on games. Mario Party 5 gets a bad rap for its sort of slow gameplay, it's so so boards, luck based minigames, and this thing. <laughs> Heavenly Father, please kill us! Snuff us out of existence in one firm blow! The theme of this game is. How oh, green's in this game? It's basic Mario Party, baby. You hit a block, do some cardio, wait around for bullshit to happen, and then offer your free will to a random roulette. Okay, uh, oh, Daisy? Daisy's receiving from Luigi. Oh, double his alimony! Pirate Dream feels like a quest going up and down this mountain, and then these two assholes having a paywall in order to access them. It's like, okay, that's cool and all, but how about you don't do that? Undersea Dreams is like, who fucking wants to be underwater permanently? That is horrifying. And Sweet Dream. Sure, the paths kinda send you one way unwillingly, but the happening spaces cut out a piece of cake. You know, look at that, that looks delicious. Sure, it, it can kind of get irritating, but you know, come on, sweet dreams are made of these and who am I to disagree? I travel the world and the seven seas. Who let Luigi cook? In this game, I don't know, it's just in this like special, very rare period of Mario games. It's before New Soup where they standardized every design for every Mario character, but after the jump to the GameCube where all of the models are the same, so it's sort of this weird middle ground where nothing makes sense, but everything goes. Why does Boo wear skates? Wario sounds... Off. And this was the first game I played with Daisy in it. Hey, what the fuck is that, man? It was sort of like drinking orange juice from the carton and realizing it was actually milk. Peach is saying, which in my kid brain, I was like, okay, so Mario and Peach are taking their relationship to the next level. She's basically meeting his family now. Monty, Mole, you used to be so happy. What happened? And and then like there's this like okay there's a distinction between Magic Koopa and Kamek, not not currently, but apparently here. <laughs> the fuck is this freak? Then we have all these cute characters from Mario 64 that have been completely eviscerated from the Mario canon, and not to mention, ah! why do they make them look like? Why why did they make you look like this? Get away from me! Stop! You can also do team parties, and you know what this means. A Luigi's Mansion spin-off. Not safe for work. Gold diggers. Found family. A simp. And truth be told, you can finally canonically ship Waluigi and Daisy. But why the hell did they take Paper Mario 1's star spirits and like, infuse them into this game's menu? This game isn't an amazing Mario Party, it's an amazing game. It isn't good as Mario Party, but it's good because it has a bunch of other cursed modes that are a lot more fun. Look at this mode. Hockey and volleyball. For what? It's not even, like, you can't even play it in the regular party mode, it's just here. And you know, these modes aren't horrible, but at least they didn't make a whole game out of it. Then they said, yeah, you know, okay, so this mode, this mode, this mode, it's not enough modes. We need... <laughs> wow, I I'm really digging this room. A window open to a starlit sky, beautiful china, and fragrant tea. I wonder what we're playing here. Blackjack? Backgammon? Danganronpa? Star! So as a kid, this is what I thought gambling was. You sort of just play the boards and hope you get lucky and find stars on these random cards. And it's not exactly great, but I spent way more time here as a kid than I care to admit. Yeah!
But the mode I spent the most time in is a mode you could have completely missed if you just played the party mode of this game. Where are we? Like, this dude gets a garage. Everyone else gets some like weird floaty dimension. Why? And why a garage? You want to smell gasoline every day? I know it smells good like vanilla far away, but too much is too much. You want to know what this mode is? You're not going to guess if you've never seen this game. Okay, it's not really a Gundam, but like by all accounts, it's a Gundam. I'm gonna call it a Gundam. Anyways, with all the time you spent in other modes, you can unlock points or something and get parts for your Ava. And it's like, oh, okay, I guess I can just build a death machine. And all of them are so clever. A three Goomba engine going, no, I'm gonna, I'm gonna help, I'm gonna do something. And look at the references, a Mr. I from Mario 64 as a laser beam. We have the EGAD VR battle station. A boo car that goes invisible, overcompensating, undercompensating. All right, you know what? You just gotta see this in action. It's just amazing. It's literally not. I mean, it is entirely too simple, but something about seeing your character in a car battling another character that is completely unique. And also, may I mention, each of the maps you play on, they're randomly generated, which was really cool back then because you kind of just had to roll the dice and hope that your vehicle was more suited to the terrain. Some Wii U games don't even have this much depth. Ah! All right, so we made it to the finals. My heart is racing. I've slaved over this machine, carefully crafting my beautiful masterpiece, Pontiac. <laughs> Holy, what is Bowser's machine? What? Thailand, Thailand Bowser? What? Thailand Bowser? Why? What? Thailand? What? No, why is it lagging? All the fucking geopolitical commentary is slowing the damn game. Okay, I guess. Fuck you, you son of a bitch. What is this fucking machine? Why the heart? Is this like some foreshadowing? Oh God, why? Like they didn't need to put this in the game, but holy shit. I, I just, I, I could have played, I could play this again. It's so fun. They also have a two player mode with unique maps that are more plentiful than Mario Kart. I cannot believe it. It's not just me, right? Like this game may be a middling Mario party, but with all of these modes and, and features, it's got more than the all new Ford F-150. I know you made it this far. You wanna, you wanna see more, right? You gotta. Well, there's actually one more mode with a lot of fleshed out content that was daunting and arguably made me want to quit. What kind of fucking story could you be telling here? So the story goes that Bowser has a dream of his own that he wants to uh, relinquish from everyone else and claim as his own, which is like a kind of a persona thing, but I like, I, I mean, they did it first, so. Oh shit, Bowser's here and this uh, mitochondria. What the f holy shit, someone call a fucking ambulance for the- holy shit! So the goal is I gotta beat these dweebs at minigames to steal their coins, and if they reach zero, I win. Let me emphasize, they are all dual minigames! Sorry, I just had to get that out of my system. So, uh, have you met my friend? When they're not luck, they're mashing based. And I played this on the hardest difficulty because I guess I hate myself. But there are a few you can basically scrape your way through, so I'll take it. Peace out. You have a piece missing. Screw the money, you did it for fun. You get off on it. And button mashers. Hey, how, 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 how the fuck do I hold this? What the fuck? This is a slugfest. Uh, look at my finger. I'm a pump and jump chump. My calluses are completely destroyed. I'm like Izuku Midoriya, carefully and craftfully destroying parts of my body systematically in order to utilize them to their fullest. I needed to train to beat this broly looking son of a bitch. You have no family, no lineage, and you will die forgotten and rot in manure to help new life foster, you insatiable little piece of garbage. One down, and uh, that, like that's like two fingers gone. So like we cleared a map, but what next, right? Good God, why am I trying out this? I'm getting bench pressed by button masters. <sighs> why am I doing this to myself? Oh fuck you, Miss Star. Okay, 
Oh, you have depression. Just try to be happy. We made it. The final challenge. Bowser saunters himself all the way over into this cotton candy dimension and challenges us face to face to Undertale. That's right, Bowser has a full-on, completely original boss fight exclusive to this mode. And I have to admit, he is not a pushover. Oh, he got the dog in him! Oh, wow, where have I seen this before? You only have so many hits and some of them are- Oh, <laughs> what do you want me to do here? I actually have to try here. I'm surprised. I played this when I was younger, but I didn't expect it to be so hard now. But now I've got your number. Your stupid rings of garbage won't stop me now. I've gotten cornered. One, two, and three! Stephen Hawking theorized that black holes consume, rearrange, and destroy data. So go and prove his theory right, you son of a bitch. Our reward is sneaking a peek of Bowser's dumpy toad T-posing on us. And then that's it. You know, for what Mario Party 5 lacks in uh, Mario Party, it makes up for it in the fact that there's a treasure trove of content to play here. Also, what the hell was Thailand Bowser? <laughs>